I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. This is the Holy Bro Copus 2. It has kind of become my go-to quad because I broke all my other quads and this little bind and fly was just what I had and then I put a GPS on it and then I put the real pit VTX controller on it and now it to put crossfire on it and it's just kind of, it's the most together quad I currently own. So we're using it today for this test. And what is the test? These are the HQ 5x4.3 V1S props, and these are basically my go-to props for freestyle. That's why it is going to be the baseline for our test, because you guys say, what about GemFan? Why do you always fly HQ? I don't know. I am i don't really like new things. I just like things to always stay the same, and I guess that doesn't make me the best reviewer. Anyway, so here's what I did. I got a bunch of gem fan props. We're going to fly them today. We got the gem fan Wind Dancer 5042 and the Wind Dancer 5043. And Wind Dancer is gem fan's freestyle line of props. Uh, let's get these out of the pack. And let's see how they stack up to each other. They don't seem to have a radically different design than each other. They just, one has a slightly steeper pitch than the other. I suspect the difference between 5042 and 5043 is going to be pretty minor, but we'll see. Okay, so let's get this quad in the air and we'll put a pack in with these uh, HQ 5x4.3s as a baseline and then we'll fly these other props and we'll just see how they handle. And as a special treat for you guys, I have got GPS on this so we can actually do speed readings as well. So what I'm looking for in a freestyle prop is, first and foremost, smoothness. The ability to do big moves like that. Without getting a bunch of prop wash. Now you can test that by doing sharp turns. And you see me do that a lot when I do these, uh, when I do uh, tuning videos, but... See, like a curvy turn like that. I don't want to hear prop wash, I want to just be smooth. I don't want to see the quad settle in. I just want to see it pick up the throttle and move without any sort of... Here, let me see if I can get it to settle. Like sometimes you see it settle back like that. No, I did that with the sticks. I don't want to see any of that. The other thing I like to see is acceleration, sort of explosive acceleration. And the 5x4.3 does not excel at explosive acceleration, but I feel like smoothness is more important. Oh, hello, tree. Sensor lost. Okay, so what can we say about the uh, 5x4.3? It's smooth. Uh, on these T-Motor uh, F40 2450KV, it's, I think it's just about perfectly propped. It's not over-propped, it's not under-propped, it's just about right. Uh, not a lot of speed, not a lot of acceleration, but enough, not nothing. Put a 5040 on there and you'll really see a difference. Um, good mm, throttle control. I'm not sure how I feel about linearity. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most linear prop, but I'm really used to it and I have no trouble controlling it. Let's do one more pack and let's just real quick get a speed run on this guy of the full battery and then we'll put one of these gem fans on it and see how it goes. Hundred and twenty kilometers per hour. Technically I should do one the other way just to be fair. About the same. It's not very it's not windy today, so. Okay, so let's bring these guys in and let's try the gem fans. Oh, 
That's my little check to make sure I've got the props on right. Do that before every flight. Here we go. Let's do a speed test while the battery's still pretty full. Seems like it's roughly similar. Now let's just fly it. It feels like it's making more thrust and is faster to me. Sensor lost. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it's doing that. It felt like it, w it jumped off the ground at a lower throttle point and feels more sort of punchy. Little shutter there. I'm not sure that's the prop spot. The quad feels like it's going faster. I'll be curious to check the uh, the video and see how many amps we're pulling and how it compares. There's a certain kind of aggressiveness that flying a more a uh, powerful quad brings out in me that's making me want to do it here. A little prop wash there, but I'm not unhappy with it. That was a pretty challenging move as prop wash goes. Sensor lost. out of that. Pretty good prop wash handling for the more aggressive prop. It doesn't feel like it's loading the motors down. It feels responsive. Um, I'm not having any trouble with some props that lo overload the motors. I have trouble uh, coming out of big dives at the right time. You'll hit the throttle and it won't respond, but I'm having no trouble finding my hover point here. Nice, well, good control here. Going into, oh, that's where I'm standing. I don't usually stand there. Yeah. So this feels like it's thrust. It's got a little more thrust than the 5043. We'll check the um, the DVR and see how the amps are. See how much current it's pulling or how much power it's pulling in terms of efficiency. But top end speed was about the same. Feels like it hovers a little lower. Uh, we could check the DVR for that as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's try. Let's try. The 5043 should be even thrustier, right? One thing I gotta say as I'm changing these props is that these little wingtips they put on the end, uh, they're so sharp. I've cut my fingers, like, like really cut them on these while changing props. It's really annoying. I mean, I'm sure they have some performance advantage, but you really gotta watch out when you're changing these props or you will cut yourself. Wow, some sag there on that one, all the way down to 14. Lost. I didn't feel like I got a ton more speed. Let's see. And 
not getting any prop wash. Not feeling a massive difference in thrust between those two. Let's try a little just get up and go. We'll start here and we'll just kind of... Yeah, I definitely see more acceleration there than on the 554.3s. Uh, probably on the 554.2s as well. So, these guys are making a little more thrust, but it definitely feels like they're hitting the battery a little harder. We're getting sagging lower. There's a little prop wash there. I don't feel like we would have seen that on the other two props. Now, bear in mind though, we're not tuning this at all. We're just comparing them. We're leaving the tune the same so that we could more effectively compare the what the props are doing. Sensor lost. knowing when to hit the throttle, kids. <laughs> Sensor lost. What I think I'm going to do is just... Uh, just a little more prop wash on this one. So... Let's turn the D gains up just from like 25 to 30. This isn't a PID tuning video, but that was at 27. We'll turn it up to 33. We'll just add just a little bit of D gain. And see how it flies. Ha! <laughs> Lucky there on that op on that tree. I do like how fast they feel, but they're whoa! What's I, I must have picked up a, a charge discharge battery. Sensor lost. Yeah. Whoops. My bad. Really? <gasps> wow. Okay, this battery is in sad shape. That wasn't a discharged battery. It was a charged battery. Wow, just sagging out already. I mean, this battery isn't damaged. Lost. Oh well, can't win them all. Ah, we're in the That's some pro level recovery right there, kids. Just because you're not upside down doesn't mean you can't use turtle mode. When you're bogged in the grass, it can be good. Sensor lost. Got goop on my lens. I'm gonna go in the dirt. Sensor lost. Oh, that was good response there. That's what you get from the the five by four. Uh, yeah, that's what you get from the pit more pitch. Is that last minute thrust when you think you're gonna sag out, and it Thank saves you. Lost. 
they also corner pretty. You know, I'm flying these 5043s, the 5143s, and I am liking them more. See, any little last minute saves like that. Hello, baby. Let's go. Let's land this guy and go back in to the bench and uh, we'll check the DVR and check some stats. And here we are. I've been going over the DVR footage and freeze framing those speed runs and uh, here's the result. The results are kind of surprising. All of the props went about the same speed. They all, actually, not just about the same speed, they all went 120 kilometers per hour almost exactly as the max speed that was recorded during the speed run. Uh, the one exception to that is the HQ 5x4.3, which actually had one run where it went 127 kilometers per hour. So the HQ was actually the fastest prop in exactly one test. In all the other tests, they were almost exactly the same. 120 kilometers per hour is about 75 miles per hour for us Americans. <laughs> The other thing that's interesting about it is that the watts that they pulled is very, very similar. In fact, I went through and I looked at the peak watts that was pulled from the moment I sort of pegged the throttle to the moment that I backed off the throttle. And that peak watts was usually not at the end of the run. The peak watts occurs just after you peg the throttle as the motor is accelerating. Then once the motor hits its sort of max speed, it unloads and things get a little bit easier. And the peak watts for each of them was within 10 watts. No joke. It was right about 1400 watts, 1460 to 1470 watts for all three of them. So are these props just identical? I don't think so. The Windancer 5042 was probably my favorite prop in this roundup. Uh, I feel like it was making more thrust than the HQ 5x4.3. It had a sharper and more aggressive feel and, a, and you can see it in the way I was flying it. That's not just because I drank an energy drink before I flew that pack. Those packs were just moments apart. And when I got up there with the 5042s, I was just, it felt punchier, sharper, and I was just having a lot more fun with it. One thing to note about the 5042 is that it does have a, it doesn't have a constant pitch along its whole length. If you, as you get towards the hub of the 5042, it, it curves downwards. And the reason for that is that the part of the prop that's near the hub is moving slower through the air than the part of the prop at the end, because it's closer to the center of a circle, right? And what the blade, and, and that means that if you have a constant pitch prop that that's the part of the prop near the hub is kind of not doing much work. The air is just not moving very fast. By making this the part of the prop near the hub more aggressively pitched, Gemfan has given more consistent uh, response across the entire length of the prop. And that basically means that the prop is going to make more thrust. I didn't have any issues with linearity. The props felt very similar and very similar to what I expect. If we were to compare that to something like the HQ 5.1 by 3.1, which is an incredibly smooth and linear prop, but not a very powerful prop, I would say that these props are probably not exceptionally linear, but they certainly are very flyable. I came out of this test with a new appreciation for the Wind Dancer and the 5042 specifically. The 5043 was pretty good. The longer I flew it, the more I liked it, but it did feel like it was kind of hitting my batteries hard. I'm not sure why. It's not that different from the 5042, but the results are what they are. Um, will I switch to the 5042s as my primary prop? That's a tough one. They're, they're durable. Dur by the way, durability is good on these as well. This is not the first time I've flown these. I've been testing the gem fans for a little while and durability is fine. That pointy tip really bugs the crap out of me. I hate getting poked and cut by that tip. And also if you put the gem fans into your backpack or something and they're not in some protective kind of plastic, they might nick and cut your backpack too. But they're pretty good props and I really did like the way it flew better than the HQ 5.1 by 4.3. There you go. That's the results of this testing. Links to all these products are down in the video description. What do you think? Do you fly the gem fans? And if you fly them for freestyle, do you like them? What do you think of my results? Did I 
Did I get it right or did I uh, did I miss something? I only tested them on one motor. Although if you are going to pick one motor to test on, the F40 2450 kV is kind of like just that's, yeah, that's the one to test, right? That's going to do it for this video though. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy flying.